Well, South Africa is facing some dark times. And when we say dark, that's exactly what we mean. We'll see a total eclipse a little later on this evening. What's more, it'll be the longest lunar eclipse so far this century. So let's find out what exactly this means for us going into the evening. Our reporter, Michael Marillia, has been work working that story for us. Michael, always a great chatting to you. So how much darkness can we expect tonight? Kathy, it is going to be a blockbuster natural event as we see for ourselves what a total lunar eclipse looks like and it's going to be the longest one like you say uh, in several decades we're going to see at the start something like this you really do get some fantastic images out of these eclipses Kathy that's uh, the beginnings of an eclipse we're also going to see hopefully something like this this is known as the blood moon Kathy this is when the uh, colors of the moon really go an angry shade of orange sometimes even a deep deep red and I'm going to tell you why that happens it's not because the moon is fed up with the earth there is actually uh, a lot of science behind it but first of all Kathy how do these lunar eclipses actually happen well what happens is that the Sun the earth and the moon align with one another and the moon gets caught in the earth's shadow so what you see over there Kathy directly behind the earth uh, is a shadow which is known as the umbra and what you're going to see here a little bit later is what's known as the penumbra so this is the slightly broader shadow which is cast by the earth and uh, when we see those shades or those slight shadows on the moon that's when the moon has reached the penumbra so that's the broad shadow when it reaches the umbra and I'll just play this animation once again for you once it reaches the umbra that's when it goes almost totally dark and you also tend to see those bright red and orange colors when it is in that shadow which is known as the umbra I'm going to quickly take you through the blood moon Kathy so as we mentioned the Sun is hitting the Earth's surface and the moon is not able to get any of that light because the earth is in the way but when that light hits the earth's surface Kathy two things happen the blue light tends to be scattered outwards it tends to be refracted and uh, sent all over the place and the red light gets narrowed down and that tends to be directed towards the surface of the moon so if we take a quick look at the animation here it comes there's the moon and as it gets to the umbra remember that's the narrow shadow which we mentioned all of that red light tends to head directly towards the moon and so we tend to see Kathy a progression which looks a little bit like this there you can see the full moon getting progressively darker you see that shadow coming closer closer and closer and right at the end there Kathy the moon in a very bad mood a bright red and uh, <laughs> some, sometimes known like I said as the blood moon Kathy it all gets started at 24 minutes past 8 this evening and we expect the total eclipse to be in place at about 9:30 it should last Kathy for, uh, for for an hour and around 43 minutes it's going to be a fantastic evening for stargazers and of course lots of people will be wondering what do they need to do in order to get the best view mm. do we still need to get those 3d um, glasses even though it's at night I don't know if it, if those will work so just for our viewers at home sure. do you have any advice for them absolutely there's no need to get the tin foil or those special <laughs> uh, glasses which you use because the Sun really is not involved of course it being a lunar eclipse and the best thing that you can do is try to get outside where there isn't a lot of uh, pollution but there's not a lot of smog hopefully it won't be too cloudy tonight in certain parts of the country and if you can get a clear view of the moon then you should be all set get yourself a coffee maybe some popcorn and uh, spend some time with the family outside gazing at the stars where are you going to be watching it Michael I will still be at work so I'll be uh, <laughs> heading outside on our porch uh, and uh, taking a look on our patio and uh, taking a look at it from there such a hard work at least we know <laughs> that by tomorrow morning we'll have some of the latest pictures to get from you um, it looks absolutely stunning I can't wait to see it later on tonight you say from 20 past 8 hey around about 20 25 past 8 Kathy but if you want to see the total eclipse then then get yourself ready at about 9 30 between 9 30 and 11 15 this evening uh, the lights are going out Kathy. and do you have your song ready I have my song ready total <laughs> eclipse of the heart uh, if, if you're nice to me I'll sing it for you a little bit later <laughs> thanks for that Michael Marilia uh, certainly having fun with everything that's going on here uh, giving us better understanding of what we can expect for the lunar eclipse as Michael mentioned the moon should be in the total shadow just after 9 30.